Welcome to an exclusive skill capped guide for BFA patch 8.3. Throughout the final season of BFA, we'll be releasing select guides from our site here on YouTube. If you're interested in seeing more new content like this every week, alongside our exclusive matchup review series in which we cover in detail exactly how to win the hardest and most popular matchups, head over to skillcap.com. Hey guys, Zot here. Today's video brings me great pain and is something I've been putting off doing for some time. I'm going to be sharing my top 5 tips on how to beat my class of choice Shadow Priest. Welcome to knowing your enemy. Our first tip, and probably not only the simplest, but also the best way to counter Shadow Priest, is to dispel their dots, and dispelling their dots again, and just keep dispelling over and over and over and over. Shadow Priest damage breakdown looks something like this. 50% Shadow Word Pain, 40% Vampiric Touch, and then the rest of their abilities make up the final 10%. Simply put, their dots hit hard and make up a very, very large portion of their damage. Shadow Priest, as a general class, works by applying their dots, then looking to generate insanity, which prolongs their void form. Constantly having to reapply your dots as a Shadow Priest not only means you're not going to be able to generate insanity or enter void form, but means they're going to be having to constantly reapply them, which can then be prevented by your teammates. Using just your Dispel as a healer is not the only tool you can use to heavily counter Shadow Priests. Almost all healers bring some niche PvP talent picks which directly and heavily hurt Shadow in PvP. Shamans have Cleansing Waters, which will remove all dots every time they crit Chain Heal or put down a healing rain. Discipline Priests have the powerful Purified Resolve and also access to Double Dispel. Mistweavers have Healing Spheres and Vision of Perfection procking Revival, which in turn dispels all dots, with Holy Paladins bringing Cleanse the Freak, an AoE Dispel and Divine Vision a 10% reduction in Shadow Damage, which is all of Shadow Priest damage. Needless to say, dispelling dots and picking up some niche talents are a surefire way to increase your chances at beating Shadow in Arena. I've mentioned this a few times already, but Void Form is when Shadow Priests are at their most scary. What Void Form does is it increases a Shadow Priest damage output by 10% as well as giving them a stacking increase to haste for every second in void form, and also access to void bolt which gives Shadow Priest some minor form of single target damage. Now with how void form works is that a Shadow Priest must consistently be hitting a target to generate insanity, or they will just drop out of void form. This means there is a few ways to play around this. First is obviously by line of sight in the shadow. This will in turn cause him not to be able to build up insanity and dropping out of void form very quickly. Secondly is by putting any form of CC or interrupt into him, again making the Shadow Priest unable to generate insanity. Playing around a Shadow Priest void form will greatly reduce their time inside and stop them reaping the benefits as well as reducing their haste from lingering insanity afterwards, something you should always look to play around. Now the number one weakness to a Shadow Priest is how vulnerable they are to interrupt. Interrupts. There isn't many other classes that have every single damage spell and every single defensive spell all tied into one school of magic. This, as a result, makes it incredibly effective to lock down Shadow Priests. Honestly, kicking any spell is good, but most importantly I would always look to kick Vampiric Touch, as this is paramount to a Shadow Priest damage. In kicking this, you'll also stop the Shadow Priest from being able to use Life Swap, Greater Fade and Dispersion. There are of course a few scenarios where you'll want to save an interrupt for Mass Dispel if you're playing a setup composition. In general though, looking to interrupt the Shadow Priest on their Shadow School of Magic is going to be of great use and will heavily reduce their damage and survivability. Up at number 4 we have Keeping Them Slowed. Shadow Priests are hands down one of the most immobile casters in the game, bringing no speed increases and no ways of gaining freedom other than their major defensives Dispersion and Greater Fade. Why this is so important to do though is because Shadow Priest often relies on being in a good position to secure crowd control, primarily their Psychic Scream, which is an 8 yard range, meaning the Priest is going to have to be inside of melee range in order to secure it. Keeping the Priest slowed will also make it impossible for them to look to kite or line of sight spells, or even chase you if you're line of sight in. So if you see a priest heading straight towards you or chasing you, make sure you slow him as fast as possible. Our fifth and final tip to counter Shadow Priest 
is something I really didn't want to include in this video, as it's something Shadow Priests rely on so much in 2v2 and 3v3, and it's something not many people play around at all, even at higher ratings, and that's their PvP talent Mind Trauma. How Mind Trauma works is that after a full channel of Mind Flay, you are still 3% haste from the target, which lasts for 15 seconds. You can steal up to 12% haste from one guy, so 4 stacks, and when I say steal, I mean it. You remove 12% haste from your target, and you also gain 12% haste. The Shadow can stack this up onto endless amounts of targets who will only gain the benefit of 8 stacks. So not only is this going to be reducing your haste, which in turn obviously reduces your damage, globals, car speeds, dot ticks, you name it, but will also increase the shadow's damage. And with haste being such an important stat for shadow, you can see why this might be bad. Allowing a shadow priest to fully stack this onto your team will mean they're going to be doing insane amounts of damage. Just look at this clip and look at my damage. With these stacks maintained, I'm nearing 100% haste. And believe it or not, keeping this maintained on multiple targets requires a lot of work, as you need to be channeling a full mind flay to gain the stack, and obviously need to stack it up to 4 to reap the full benefits. So if you see a priest playing this, which can be identified by the buff on the priest, debuff on you, or the fact that they're channeling a full mind flay means one thing, you cannot allow this to stack and need to be put in any form of CC on the priest to force them to drop the stacks or by line of sighting or just interrupting to again force them to drop the stacks. However you look to do so, make sure the priest is unable to maintain stacks and trust me, you're going to be reducing their damage and increasing your own by a lot. Alright then guys, that's going to be our top 5 tips in order to counter Shadow Priest. Hope this was useful and be sure to let us know what class you want to see next. Thanks for watching.